Good morning, everyone. You are welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Peter MNJ Adaviruku. Today, uh, I am a GIS solution provider. I provide services in installation, trading, data acquisition, data integration, and data analysis. Today, we want to take. I want to take you through introduction to QGIS interface. QGIS interface. Remember to subscribe to my channel now let's go to uh, QGIS interface and see how it looks like when you open your QGIS this is how the interface looks like so it has a whole lot of tools arranged and the arrangement depends on you now if you open your QGIS and some tools are not showing you come to this place you right click all this panel will be displayed then anyone you want to enable you will check them for example let's i check this uh, layer panel if i uncheck it it will disappear so if i want it to come back i right click here i go to that layer panel i check it so it will display here now let's go to the introduction to qgis interface proper now if you look at this interface it i label it here the title bar, the menu bar, tool bar, data source browser, table of content, display window, and status bar. So, all of these bar, they have their functionalities. For example, this one is your title bar. That is, when you are doing a project, the title you give to it will display here. Because I just opened this software, I've not done anything. That is why it's showing on title projects now the second row here is menu bar menu bar if you look at it there are many menu here so this is menu bar you under each menu there are a whole lot of things you can do and one thing very important under this menu bar is what i want to show you here called plugins these plugins they help you to to link some external software to qgis for you to run some analysis for example if you click on the plugin you come to manage and install plugin so when you click on that manage and install plugin all the all the plugins for example all the plugin i have here are showing so anyone that you have not installed you can click on it me i have installed all this you can click on it and install so it will allow you if you want to uninstall as well you click on it and you can click on install plugin if you have not installed it you click on it and install so that is for plugin now the next one next row is two bar two bar so there are many tools here that you can use for a whole lot of things so this row is two bar now if you look at uh, here the data source browser the function of the data source browser which is here is for you to navigate directly to your folder where you are keeping your data that is data source data source browser then here layer panel or table of contents anything you bring for example if we add data to our our software the data we show here on the table of contents and it will also show here this place is called uh, display window what you brought in will be displayed here let's for example let's test it let's say you add data navigate to your folder let's add this data okay open you add and close so you can see now when i add this data the data is displayed here in the table of contents so all the layer any layer you add will be displayed here as content then on this display window the data you add will be displayed so that everything you are doing all analysis you are running you'll be able to see it displaying here then underneath here is called status bar status bar if you look at this place when i move my um, mouse across my data the values are changing so it show you the status of where you are so this is the interface of qgis uh, a whole lot of things you can do you can just familiarize yourself with the interface 
to know where those tools are and if there is any tool that is missing just come here right click you see the the, the, the panel here you can check and uncheck this is the interface uh, introduction to QGIS interface once again I am Peter Emanje Adabiruku thanks for watching this video